Okay, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to another video by Sir Shazwan. Welcome, welcome. Uh, it's been a while everyone. Uh, with all the uh, raya and puasa and everything. So, welcome back. Uh, it's nice to see you guys again. So, today we'll be looking at another topic which is small talk, open close discussion, negotiation, ask and give opinion, complaints, problem and solutions, recommendations. Those are the communication skills that you will be uh, using whenever you are uh, communicating with others as well as when you are uh, communicating in the classroom uh, in the uh, in the workplace so without further ado let's go look through one by one so the first off we'll be looking at small talk what is a small talk it's not like this is one this one that you said you are speaking softly no that's not small talk that is slow talk that is low voice. So that's not related. Okay. Go back to here. Uh, small talk. Small talk is a polite conversation about unimportant or uh, uncontroversial uh, matters. Especially as engaged in on social occasion. It's like you just uh, uh, you just go around, talk a little chit chat, something like that. That is small talk. You just, it's not something like really important. But you want to have a, like a small talk, just a gesture, a goodwill gesture. Okay. So how do you make a small talk? You you don't think that you know, sembang, sembang, sembang like that doesn't doesn't really require anything. It does require something. So those kinds of small talk they have like procedures, ways to do it. So how do you make a small talk? So there are four here. First one. Ask open-ended questions. What does it mean by open-ended question? Means that, but uh, okay. Most people enjoy talking about themselves, not only about our favorite uh subjects, but it's also easier to discuss yourself than something you know little about. Meaning that when you ask open-ended questions, you are asking them about something that they can uh they are able to answer freely, without any restriction. For example, uh, how did you do today? Huh? For example, that is what a kind of like small talk. You are just asking like a very general, open question to them, so they can like ex uh express themselves like that. Maybe they are sad. Maybe they are like uh happy. They are proud of themselves or something. They they are, people tend to enjoy talking. Enjoy. Uh, telling people about themselves. So that is how you try to make a small talk. You ask something that they can answer, not something that you want them to answer. Okay, that is small talk. Next one is practice active listening. It is tempting to tune out occasionally, but you will force much stronger connection if you pay attention. Remember, when you ask uh, doing small talks, it's not only you, it's only them who listens to you. You need to listen to them as well. Okay? <clears throat> the other person will notice how engaged you seem. Sometimes if you show that you are not listening, you are just, for example, someone asks you, you are playing with your phone. That that shows that you are, you are not engaged or interested. Means that you are not willing to do some small talk. Okay. In addition, it is much easier to ask relevant questions and remember details to so bring it uh, bring it up later if you are not listening with one ear. Okay, so you try to listen to the person, uh, especially when they are asking. When doing small talks, these kinds of talks help you build a relationship. So it is good for you to try to practice active listening so that you will be able to understand what they are trying to tell you about. How to put? Uh, how to make small talks? Number three, put away your phone. Seriously, put away your phones. We tend to pull out our phones when you are feeling uncomfortable or awkward in social situation, but nothing will sabotage your conversational efforts more quickly. <clears throat> what does it mean by that? Sometimes when you are going to like before this, okay, don't go now. But kenduris or festivities or anything. Sometimes you are feeling awkward. You feel like you don't fit in. You take out your phone. You scroll into Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or what, all, all over all of that uh, SNS things. And 
when people see you do that, they tend to avoid you. They don't want to talk you, talk to you. That's why some people say, "I'm so pretty. Why am I? Why 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 am I single?" You know, because you don't let people talk to you. You always with your phone. Example. Okay. So when you are like you are holding your phones, looking at your phone, scrolling and everything, people will will not want to talk to you because you are not willing. You are uh, projecting that you are not willing to do some small talks. Okay. Fourth one, show your enthusiasm. Small talk may not always be the most stress-free activity. However, if you go into it with the right attitude, we can uh, you can actually have fun. View these conversations as opportunities to learn more about other people. So, just don't do don't do small talks just for the sake of doing small talks. Try to show your enthusiasm. Maybe you want to get to know someone. I I'm looking at you boys. Maybe you want to get to know someone. Do some small talks. Try to get to know them. Maybe show that you are interested to talk to them. Something. Those are the things that can help build relationships. Okay. Moving on. We go to the second part. Open, sustain, and manage discussion. This is very important because. Whenever you are in uh, the university, whenever you are in school, whenever you are in the workplace, discussions uh, discussions are the main thing because first, you want to solve a problem, you need to discuss. Maybe you want to uh, improve on your performance, you need to discuss. When you want to do assignments, you need to discuss. When you want to do exam, you need to dis- uh, No, you cannot discuss, but maybe before the exam, you can discuss so how do you open a discussion how you sustain one and how you manage a discussion okay we'll be looking at one by one so how to how to start a great discussion how do you start a discussion that's so engrossing and then very good that people who don't want to leave and no you want to contribute to it okay first one make the discussion title or question as descriptive as possible what does it mean by that a good discussion title is a short preview of your post and it's what gets people to click and read a well-written title is going to help search engines better index your post which bring more people into the discussion when you want to discuss something please make sure your title is clear and contains the most amount of information possible Sometimes titles can be very vague and people might not understand what you are trying to discuss about. So try to make it as very as descriptive as possible. Includes words that can help explain your title. Next one, you proofread. Proofread is where you look at spelling mistakes, typos, or bad grammars because they will distract readers from reading the point that you are trying to make. If you are writing a long post, Save it as a draft and come back to it after a few minutes or as long as it takes. Try to look at it. Understand that maybe sometimes uh, we usually we will make mistakes. We will make mistakes. So, proofread it. Look at it. Understand and see whether there, you, there are mistakes or not. Because when you have a good writing, good uh, discussion topic, good information, people won't be distracted. Then, they will understand this is what you want to discuss about. Okay? Third one, use minimal formatting. What does it mean? Overly formatted posts can also distract from the message and it encourages people or others to do likewise and you end up with a hard to read thread. So this is like uh, when you do discussions on forums or something. So sometimes people like make it like some uh the title is bold then the italy then when you want to emphasize some word it's going to be color and then the bold and then italy and then underline underscore underwear underwear no so those things try to minimize it okay not uh don't use too much don't use too little use appropriately because when you are putting a lot of 
tons of formatting here and there, left, up, right, down. It will be very messy, okay? And people won't uh, want to join messy forums or discussions, okay? Next one. Uh, put your post in the right category. When you are discussing something, make sure your topic is in the right category. Because the right category can be made, can be the one that has the relevant category name. And it can be a category where the keys, this kind of post is often made. Of course, this is also related to the forum postings, uh, threads or anything. So make it related. Because if you are, for example, you are talking about, you are discussing about problems in the social but when you when you post it in the economic category it will be it's not the right category so people won't contribute it you will be kick bang or something in forums are usually okay fifth one if you want responses ask for them in marketing there is a call to action button if you want others to command you can encourage them by asking them to do so sometimes when you this call a uh, call, call to action buttons is also available in uh, video messaging. Sometimes when you want students to answer, you click the call to action button, ask them to respond. Okay, so this is kind uh, of uh, discussion. Uh, this is kind of how to sustain, how to uh, make sure the discussion goes on. So this call to action button, you you need to ask for. Sometimes you need to ask for responses. Then, six one, take ownership. Most important, take ownership of discussions that you have created. Show that you are the one who is controlling the discussion. Sometimes discussion can go off of track. Maybe uh, you are discussing something, then maybe it branches off a bit. So you need to show that you are in control. Respond to comments properly and thoughtfully, meaning that you need to be respectful and then uh, considering the uh, writers or authors uh, comments okay then you thank others for commenting on your discussion and help with moderation if things get heated this is very important because when sometimes when you let discussions go out of hand it will be very messy the thread will be closed down discussion will be closed so that is a very uh, that's a problematic issue so you need to show that you are in charge but don't overexert your power. Use your power accordingly. Delete or like manage the the discussion properly. Okay. Next, how to sustain a discussion? That one is just open. Okay, this one is sustain. Mm -hmm. So how to sustain? How to maintain this discussion to make sure that it continues going? Okay. First one, no filtering. Okay, this is the reflex that allows you to say whatever goes on your mind. No filtering, no chatting with yourself. Would I sound cool if I say this? None of that. The best way to practice this is start doing it with people you kind of know. Do you dare, you dare to try it? It is fun to realize that when you are allowed to say whatever it is on your mind and no one is going to judge you for it. So, there's, there's a good thing about not putting filters. Sometimes because you are you are filtering something, some words, some sentences, some phrases, the discussion can be like, uh, it cannot continue because when you are filtering too much, they are not allowed to mention certain things, then there's no continuation to that. They will be stuck and they cannot continue. So try to like, Avoid filtering. Some filters may be good. For example, like, uh, like uh, apprehensive word, like something that may might make people argue with you or something. That that is a good filter. But uh, uh, when a bad filter is when you are trying to steer this discussion into only one part of the uh, it's only what very rigid. So try to make it like. People can say what they feel about it, but not, 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 not until it abuses someone else. Okay. How to sustain number two? Interesting. Tell me more. Using those words can help sustain a this discussion ninety nine percent of the time. Okay. Sure fire technique one ma, and it works especially well with beginners. 
people love to know that you are interested in what they have to say and if you show some interest they will hang around and want to talk to you even more so interest in a topic or what some someone said is very important to maintain and sustain a discussion third one stories from everywhere everyone knows that stories juice up conversations but most people only talk about stories of their own lives you don't have to draw from your own experience when speaking with someone you can use stories from anywhere from stories that happen to people you know to those who came across via the video radio tv magazine etc so you can contribute to the discussion by giving stories sharing your experience listening to what uh, uh, uh giving uh, telling others about what you have experienced maybe what you have listened to wow so loud so these uh, are kinds of discussions that you things that you can sustain the discussion then how to manage a discussion you you need to manage a discussion because if you don't manage it it will go out of hand and then it will be a problem so like the first one so like the first uh, so use open ended questions and ask for clarification examples and definition so uh, like i uh, mentioned earlier when when you have open ended questions the discussion will flow better they can contribute more and then when you need to uh, get uh, more information you can ask for clarification so then summarize the responses given without taking a stand one way or another so in the end sometimes when you want to end the discussion or maybe like one point of the discussion you can summarize the responses given make it like in a point form or like uh you summarize it some into one uh, one sentence or anything but don't show your stance there maybe you're not uh Uh, don't say that okay you are you are here or you are in this part don't get but you try to summarize it so that people will understand okay this part is done next moving on to the point next moving on some something like that okay that one consider taking notes of main points on a chalkboard or overhead but if you do writes everyone's ideas down when you are managing discussion this is usually brainstorming uh things so you when you are taking points on a chalkboard or an overhead but remember you must take down everyone's idea if you put it like okay this one cannot do cannot you you cannot be like biased or anything you need to consider everything put it in and out then you filter through it okay then number 4 towards the end of the discussion you review the main ideas the thread of the discussion and the conclusions okay that is how you manage a discussion all right next 